Welcome back to Let's Play Grandia 2. Millennia and Merig have both been lost to us. Millennia given up to become part of Valmar proper, and Merig who died on Valmar's moon so that we could get the Granisaber and leave. Valmar has been resurrected, and our chief weapon against it, the Granisaber, currently lays around us in rubble. Things aren't looking too hot right now. And if you want to drive the point home, Misanga returns all skill coins used on Merig's moves. He isn't coming back. I've got to stab every last one of them myself. Yeah, not a lot left of the Granisaber, as you can see here. You can see the par or spot where it hit and skid it in. If you run around for a brief moment, you can find... more pieces of the Granisaber. Another impact. We bounced and flew for a little while. But you run across this... Which... We'll have to get back to. If you try to do anything with it right now, you can't. It's locked. But it's not enough that Valmar's been reborn. Valmar, apparently, came back and decided to send its advanced fleet, which is just gonna freaking kill everybody before he even gets here. Well, if we don't know how to deal with Valmar yet, we can at least deal with that. Uh, where we just were was Serum Kingdom South. I don't know if this was a place we had access to before our first run through, but it was Serum Kingdom that all of those monsters just flew out and wrecked. Time to see how Rowan's holding up. Well, this place certainly isn't holding up well, that's for sure. Should have rested at the end, and I didn't. Rowan has rejoined us momentarily, though. And Rowan is... more mature than he was before. Um, we can check out his equipment later, but at the moment, just judging strictly by his equipment, the main difference is now he has Ice Prison instead of that Snowman move, or whatever it is. A little more mature version of the same deal. He's also pretty darn quick still. I still can't do anything. And our main offense at the moment is 
not going to be Elena because she used up all her SP and I forgot to heal at the end. So I'm doing great. We're all doing great. It's fantastic for everybody. Rowan currently has no, no mana egg or anything equipped. Well, did some damage one way or the other. So really, if you're not going to have Rowan just attacking, he's not going to be doing anything of value. Um, and everything he does is single target. He doesn't have any AoEs. Oh, what I wouldn't have given to stop by that inn. Uh, Tio, you can still nuke, right? I don't want to use up all your MP. Flame. And... I also don't want to use up all of your MP. Freaking Ryudo is just gonna hack away until you die. Oh, that's great. That's great. That's a long story. It's... It's a long story. You sure how safe it is in the castle? Elena's still, Elena's still over there just trying to, <laughs> she's not even to the point of functioning yet. Honestly, what do any of us do at this point? Like, small discussions and issues aren't even a problem. Like, it's not even a matter... It's not even worth talking about. Like, your fault or not, it doesn't matter. Valmar's just gonna churn right on down, and that's gonna be the end of it. Unless there's another Grana Saber around somewhere we can get. Yeah, 
And even then, like, the crap's that gonna do? The Granis Saber was little more than one of various spaceships the old people who followed Granis flew around. It wasn't actually something that could compete with frickin' Valmar. Have we been healed yet? Okay, we've been healed. What else are we going to do? Really, what else are we going to do? He's just going to come down and smear the planet. You can't run from him. You can't ignore it and let it be somebody else's problem. If we don't stop him, that's going to be the end of it. The problem being we can't stop him. That's true. But then the crap's running away gonna accomplish. A god fighting a god. It's a small chunk, but it's something.
if we could use the horns to actually fight against Valmar, we'd have something. It's still not much, considering he's frickin' Valmar, and this is a small chunk of him, but it's something. But we can't really use the horns, because it's frickin' Valmar. So we don't know how to use the horns. We don't know how to do anything with any of that mess. If we stand and fight, we're just gonna get killed. Or that chunk, or the horns of Valmar is gonna go into Valmar, and then that's gonna be the end of everything for darn sure. Or we could run away, at which point we're just going to delay the inevitable. Whole mess sounds pretty darn hopeless to me. I'm going down here because there's a save point. I'm gonna do that, and I'm gonna take a quick look and show a couple things. Whenever you lose a character, um, such as whenever Millennia switched out, or now that we, or when we lost Rowan initially, and when we lost Merrick not long ago, you do keep their equipment. So we do still have that, and I'm putting on Ryudo the warp shoes. Um, Rowan, I can give a mana egg. So that's going to be neat. I don't know which one I'm going to give him. I'll figure that out in a minute. And we've also got a lot of skill points in order to power things up. So we can power up the rest of Elena's. We can get Rowan's crap up to speed. And after that whole mess, Tio, now that she's finally gained a heart, has learned her ultimate skill. Whisper to the stars. Consider it an even better version of Merig's Lion's Roar. It adds one to all variable status, not just attack. With four stars in pretty much everything, though, all of the eggs are up to four stars and all of the skills are up to full stars. Um, next chance I get, I'm going to spend a little bit of time and legitimately put some effort into getting good stats and redistributing skill points and equipment and everything to characters. At this point in the game, this is your final team. It's not going to be varying from here. So if you want to make sure this team is up to speed, you don't have to worry about, oh, well, maybe I'll use that later. Because if you're not using it now, it's not gonna get used. With the exception, I'll add, that there is still one mana egg left. Maybe a skill book, but I don't know for sure. I'm gonna heal. I'm pretty sure I did, and I didn't do anything that would have changed my HP, but... Because if you, like, if you put a life up skill on someone, it will raise their max HP, but you have to go heal again. 